All right, example four. Um, sometimes you see an example, three examples in a row that pretty much were the same example, right? Different numbers, but the, the technique was pretty much the same every time. And then they make it easier, but then it seems weird, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to handle this happening. So um, look at this bottom equation, x equals y. That's telling me that x and y are the exactly the same amount. If x equals 4, y equals 4. If x equals negative 72, y equals negative 72. If x equals 1 third, y equals 1 third. Okay, x and y are the same amount. Right? That means I have the option of going up here. I can change x into y, or I can change y into x. Take your pick, doesn't matter. Don't do both. Pick one, but you can do either one. So when you want to change x to y or y to x? X to y. X to y, okay. So I'm going to change this x into a y because of this fact. So 2x is going to be changed to 2y, 3y is going to stay 3y, and 5 is going to stay 5. All right, so 2y, 2y plus 3y equals 5 because, again, x and y are interchangeable according to this statement. x and y are equal to each other. So this gets me 5y equals 5, therefore y must equal 1. And that means x, and x equals 1, or x equals y, so x must equal 1, so 1, 1 is the solution. Okay, when they get easier, allow them to be easier. Don't say, well, this only has one thing instead of two things. Or just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Just think about why things are happening. And again, your goal is to make a single variable equation. So I've seen people go 2y plus 3x equals 5, and now you're still in the same boat. And it's not helpful. So substitute one thing, not both, and just pick. Once you find one, you've got both because they're equal to each other.